Hey, today, by the way, UTA also getting ready for this solar eclipse and the events happening there just necessarily aren't for students, uh, students alone as well. Yeah, the UTA Planetarian opening its doors for a one of a kind solar bration on Monday. That's where we find our Brittany Rainey. So, Brittany, they've, they've got a really impressive planetarium on campus, but for those of us like me that only took one science in college and that was geology, <laughs> uh, explain what a planetarium oh actually goodness. is. Well, planetarium is a 360 degree view of the stars. I actually feel like I can just reach out and touch them. I almost feel like I'm out in space like an astronaut, but I don't need the space suit and I'm completely safe. And you know, the planetarium here at UTA Arlington just recently went through some upgrades. So we have Jeff Carlton here, Director of Communications. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for being here this morning. And you guys had some really exciting upgrades just before the solar eclipse. Yeah, that's right. So the UTA planetarium is one of the three largest in Texas, and we entertain more than 50 thousand visitors every year. Tens of thousands of those are school children that come from uh, from all across DFW on field trips every day. So in anticipation of the solar eclipse earlier this year, we upgraded to something called the Digistar 7 projection Ooh. system. I know it's a fancy name. <laughs> and uh, uh, what it is, it's the most uh, technologically advanced system that's available on the commercial market for planetariums. And so it gives us six laser, pro laser projection systems uh, that offer ultra bright, 360 degree high resolution view. So that's what we're looking at all around us. Um, and it also gives us access to uh, some re real-time databases from organizations like NASA. That is really remarkable to have that real-time data coming into the planetarium here. You know, more people are getting excited about yeah. space because of the solar eclipse. And you guys have a really incredible solar celebration. If I can get it right, yeah. coming up, tell us about that. That's right. So our solar abrasion event is Monday. We're having really a giant eclipse party for the entire community. So you can learn more about it on our website, which is go.uta.edu backslash eclipse. And it's really going to be kind of one part celebration and party and one part educational and learning experience because, of course, we are a university. So our campus is open to the public. We have canceled classes from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. So our students, staff, and faculty can step outside and enjoy this once-in-a-lifetime event. And what people can expect are sort of a, a party atmosphere like food trucks and music and we'll be handing out free eclipse classes while supplies last but there's also going to be an educational component because we are a university right. so we've got astronomers and physicists uh, and they're going to be around uh, around campus and they're going to be interviewed live on UTA radio we'll have speakers all over campus oh, and that lets our great. visitors kind of listen and watch and, and understand and learn what's happening in real time while while the physicists and astronomers are talking to them thank you so much Jeff and that's definitely something that you're not going to get everywhere where you're viewing the solar eclipse. So if you haven't picked out that place yet, guys, UTA Arlington is a really great spot. You're going to learn quite a bit more while you're here as well. Yeah, and they've got a beautiful campus too. So lots of plenty, plenty of great spots to be able to sit down and, and take it all in. 50,000 folks get there every year with a lot of kiddos as well. Good to know. That's new information. I had no idea. Beautiful. Yeah. Brittany, thank you. Thank you, Brittany. Uh, today over at UTA in Arlington, getting ready for the solar eclipse and the events happening there not just for students. Yeah, the UTA Planetarium opening its doors for a one-of-a-kind solar bration on Monday. And that's where we find our Brittany Rainey this morning. And Brittany, they have re a really impressive planetarium on, on campus that you were saying just received some upgrades. Yes, they definitely did. They have about six or seven new projections out here. They can even get real-time data from NASA into the planetarium. So that's really expanding the study of the stars for them here. And as you mentioned, the public can come out. They're having that wonderful celebration. They'll have food trucks. They're going to have professors out here explaining exactly what's happening. And while it looks like I'm just hanging out amongst the stars, I actually have an astronomy professor here with us, Dr. Neela. And you were telling me that one of the questions you get most from your students is, you know, the scale of the moon and sun is so different, so how is this working? Okay, that's a wonderful question. Mm -hmm. And actually, I have a prop that I can I use to explain it to you. All right, so just let's say this is the sun. Okay. okay. Can you see this dot? Barely without my glasses. Barely, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's the actual size ratio of the sun to the moon. So this wow. one over here is the moon. That's crazy. Moon is 400 times smaller than the sun in diameter. Wow. It means I can line up 400 of these dots here along this line. Wow. Okay. So that's how small the moon is. But then the question is, how does it cover the sun? Right. Well, 
Nature is beautiful. It is. Nature has its own magic. There's this beautiful ratio between the size and the distance. Moon is 400 times smaller, but moon is also 400 times closer sure. to the earth. That makes so sense. it makes almost the same size as that of the sun. Very so cool. So when moon happens to come in front of the sun, it's going to completely block it from our view. And that's what is a total solar eclipse is. Very and cool. then at that time, another magic happens. <laughs> <laughs> we love having more magic. <laughs> so when it's right behind, right, the sun is right behind, sun's corona starts to appear. Okay, very cool. This is the outermost part that we call corona, which comes from the Latin word crown. crown. <laughs> I just learned that. I'm so yes, excited yes, about that. Yes, well, yes. thank you so much, Dr. Neela, because I know that's a lot of questions for a lot of students, a lot of adults alike. I mean, how does that work? So thank you so much for explaining Definitely. that to us. That, that's my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, guys, if you don't already have your spot picked out for the solar eclipse, you can head out here to UTA and they're going to have some astronomers, some physicists, talking about what is exactly happening. So you're going to learn while you're out here checking out the solar eclipse. It's going to be a great time. Well, Brittany, I hope that none of my former science, science teachers from Boswell High School in Fort Worth are listening, but Dr. Neela just taught me more <laughs> about the solar system than I think I ever learned in high school. <laughs> yes, oh, she no. did. <laughs> That's awesome. Depth perception is real. That was wonderful. Brittany, thank you.